Hi, this is Ryan from Rap Weaver Classroom, and I'm glad to be doing a walkthrough of the Flame theme from Elixir Graphics. In this tutorial, we're going to look at some of the features of Flame, including the variations available and the extra content areas. I'm also going to talk a little bit about Rapid Weaver Classroom, and you're going to receive a discount code good towards any subscription at Rapid Weaver Classroom. So continue to watch the video for more details on that. So to start with, I'm on the blog page, which I've added to a Rapid Weaver project using the Flame theme. And we can see on the blog page a couple of subtle design elements that are included with Flame, including the blog badge here, and then a couple of other um, nice settings with the um, tags and the categories of the blog. You can see this is a category, and there's a nice effect here as we hover, an icon to the left, and then also a nice little subtle icon to the left of the tags as well. And so nice design elements like that are typical in Elixir themes, and those are included here in Flame. So let's look at some of the theme variations. I'm going to go to the Page Inspector. And underneath the Styles tab, we can see the list of variations, starting with Width. And there are many Width options, which is very nice to give you a lot of flexibility with um, the Width settings in the theme. We also have the typical Sidebar, Right, Left, and None settings, as well as the ability to change the font color of the Sidebar text. We can change different colors in the Title Bar. Right now I've got it set to blue and I can just scroll through these real quickly and you can see them update in the background for some different options including different textures and effects for the title bar. We also have the ability to change the title bar text to show the title and right now we have the title in the top, the slogan on the side. We could set the title and slogan to both be in the header like so or we could choose just to display the title only. We can change the menu background. You can see the menu items here across the, the top of the page. And as we hover, you can see a nice effect with the menu options. We can change the background textures here using this variation. And so I'll scroll through these quickly and you can see some of the different variations. They're quite subtle, but they are very nicely designed. We can also change the way the horizontal menu items are displayed with different colors. So I could change, change to a blue to match this title bar in my theme. Finally, we have um, extra content areas in the header and in the footer. We're going to look at those as we go to the next page. Um, before I do that, I want to note the blog badges that are available. Right now we've got the talk bubble. There's also a star, a leaf, a cloud and we can also choose to turn them off altogether. Finally, the color picker options are available by setting the links, the text of the body, and the text in the footer. So before I continue to the stacks page where we'll look at some of the extra content areas in the theme, I want to talk for a moment about Rapid Weaver Classroom. As many of you are probably familiar with, Rapid Weaver Classroom teaches um, Rapid Weaver um, very specifically, very comprehensively, we also cover many of the available third-party plugins. And so you can get an idea of what those plugins can do for you before purchasing and then learn how to use them afterwards. But in addition to that, we also talk about some other um, things related to using Rapid Weaver, including how to choose a theme. We have a um, set of instructions on choosing a theme, which goes for about 45 minutes. And then if we go down to the bottom of the curriculum listing, you will see a lot of other types of training, including um, simple how-tos for different things to do in Rapid Weaver, how to troubleshoot Rapid Weaver, and then some um, search engine optimization um, lessons, which are very important when building a website. And then finally, something we've done more recently is um, started to explore content management systems, and then also what I've called the Complete Design Demonstration Series. We'll do these over time, but for now there's one that has been created, and it walks you through the entirety, for the most part, of how Rapid Weaver Classroom itself was created, how the content was laid out, including things like how I've offset these content areas with the rounded boxes. And so that is the kind of content that you can come to expect from Rapid Weaver Classroom. It's more than just training on the program itself and the plugins. Um, there's a lot of comprehensive work done to really get you familiar with how to use the tools and then how to really do a good job of designing your site and different strategies for doing so. And so I'm going to put up a coupon code here um, in the screencast and you can use this coupon code to register at Rapid Weaver Classroom for a discount of 15% and that is good through the month of May. And so from now until the end of the month of May that 
coupon code will be active for you to use in registering. So let's get back to the theme and we're going to switch over to the stacks page here. And what I've done with the stacks page is made some more customizations with the extra content areas. And so we can see um, the first major difference between that first blog page and this page is that the extra content one area is enabled. And we saw that setting here in the page inspector under the extra content header. And right now I have um, the tiny divots option selected and that is essentially the um, texture of the background of the extra content area. And so we can scroll through different textures to see those backgrounds display behind us um, in the extra content one area. Most of these are variable height options, which means that as you add content into extra content one, it will expand or contract based on the amount of content. However, there are a few fixed height options and those are with the blank fields that you can use to edit with the RW multi tool. And so this is the fixed height of 200 pixels. And so your content would need to fit within that 200 pixel height. We can also use the Rapid Weaver color picker to set the background color. And that is done here right below with the um, top background extra content color picker option. And so I'm going to switch back to my tiny divots, which I had to begin with. And then we will go down and look at the footer. And while I'm here in the extra content footer area, you can see that we have visible selected as our variation. So let's scroll down and see that footer. And it's down here offset in this darker area and I've got a three column stack added that creates this um, this extra content area and so let's switch over to our um, edit mode so we can see how this is built with stacks we can see just some simple um, stacks added here with some backgrounds to give us um, the look of that first stack and then some text down here below and then finally this is an extra content stack. If I click into the inspector HUD for extra content, we can see that the one option is selected. And so that places this content into the extra content one area up at the top in the header. And what's so nice about using extra content stacks is that even though the stack itself is way down at the bottom, out of the way, it places it up at the top in the right place because of this setting here in the extra content area. Now I mentioned that the footer was built with a stack and that's actually not right. I've done that with a snippet. I wanted to show both ways of adding extra content. And so the snippets for extra content that come with your theme can be used to place extra content into a stacks page or any other type of page that you add to Rapid Weaver. And I've chosen to add that snippet into my sidebar. And so if I go into the page inspector under sidebar, we can see right here, I've chosen ignore formatting to um, prevent that from showing. And we have the extra content two setting applied here through the snippet and that places this content down here in the um, in the bottom in the footer extra content area and that's a three column snippet which easily creates this these three columns of text for me and so this is a stacks page we can see that um, I've added some sub menu items in here if I drop this down in the left you can see those pages listed and then those are appearing here so we have split navigation from our main navigation here over to the right in the sidebar and these have a similar hover effect which is very subtle but very nice here in the sidebar of flame and so we can see the split navigation there and so again this is the flame theme from elixir graphics and that is um, a comprehensive look at the options and the variations and the extra content areas of the uh, theme so i encourage you to take a look at it consider um, adding that to your theme drawer in Rapid Weaver as it's an excellent option for many types of websites. Again, this is Ryan with Rapid Weaver Classroom. This is the Flame theme from Elixir Graphics, and thanks for watching.